So it's 3.15 in the morning and we are taking our first steps towards the top of Mount Whitney. It's, what is it, 8,300 feet, 8,600 feet? Something like that. 62 degrees outside. That little glowing light is Erica's headlamp. And that's the moon, full moon. I'll update you periodically how we go. And I'm not wheezing, I'm just breathing a little hard. It's already uphill. So, I don't know what time it is, but I've been walking for a few hours. Erica's gone back, but you can see through the trees there, it's becoming daylight on one side. And then, you can see the mountain tops that no. There, you can see the moon on the other side. You can see that star, yeah, there's a star of the moon. It's a nighttime zone on the other side, it's pretty cool. It must be about, oh, 11,500 feet, something like that, right now. It's so pretty. So pretty. Let's see, I'm getting there. Not too much further to go. Probably about five miles, four miles. This is Trailhead at Mount Whitney. About 6:15 a.m. Sun's just coming up. Down there is Mirror Lake. Beautiful 360. Walking for a while now. I think it's about time to sit down, eat a little bit. I'm going to park my tushy on this rock here. the sun for a little bit. So pretty. All I can say at this point is, fuck. I am, I think somewhere in the middle of the switchbacks. Um, I stopped for a little bit because I'm starting to get pretty dizzy. So I eat. So I've got a nice little comfy rock to lean up against and check my view out. Trail camp. So down there, that's like 12,000, 12,500 feet. So I got another about 1,600 feet to the top. So I have about three and a half, three and a half miles to go. Maybe three. The good news is, as tired as I feel, and I so it's still lightheaded and breathing hard. Passing way more people than I'm getting past, so I think I'm still doing pretty good. I'm gonna eat a little bit, rest for 10 minutes, and do my thing. <whistles> this is Trail Crest, this is the backside. 13,600 feet. There's only 900 more feet to go. Looking at Owens Valley down that lake is where I've come from. <laughs> Just gotta get up there. That's so pretty. So pretty. He has nothing. Looking up. Last few steps. Get up to Whitney. I'm tired. I can barely breathe. It's fucking freezing cold. It's gotta be 40 degrees or less. There's snow on the ground. Nice people are happy coming down. I better be happy coming down. Fuck. But look at this.
on top of the world. That's what it looks like. Oops, shit. See how I lost my balance just standing. Okay. That's so I can do it. Huh. Not. Well. Everybody knows what to do. I lived a good life. There's the hut. Some last few steps. How are we getting here? How about I'm wheezing? That's hard to get I tell you. Well, I can compliment. It is. I never got passed. If I did, it's because I was resting and I passed everybody who passed me. All these guys trained. It's a long way to a fucking seal. 30,500 feet. I'm gonna sit up here. Hold it. Uh, some food. Drink. Stretch. And then I think I'll go back down. I think I'm gonna grab you on my side. Oh my god. I did. I already eaten. Oh man, I made it. Fuck. You have to take three times as much gear. Congratulations. Thanks, you too, man. Thank you. There's a little marmot over there. Yeah. I think he hey Jesse, there. what are you doing? I had to throw my shit away because I decided that <sighs> once I got up to the top of Mount Whitney, I didn't have a hard enough day ahead of me to come back down. So I decided that I'd take a dump right on top of the mountain. And you know how hard it is to find shelter to be discreet? I'm sure it is. Where <laughs> All there is is rocks yeah. and people. And so I'm sitting here squatting on a rock like this, and I have to stand up the white, and everybody's looking at me going up and down like this. <laughs> I'm certainly glad you're back safely. Me too. Fuck. All I have to say.